were very authentic. And I think what Scarlett did and what we discussed early on was that she needed to be able to kill people. So we trained her to kill people. Um, she worked with uh, military people, with police people. She needed to have that look in her eye when she looked at an assailant that had that danger and that ruthlessness. And I think in the, in the water courtyard fight scene specifically, she really uh, goes to another level of, of aggression. And, and I think that is what goes in the shell, kind of. That's where we differ from some of those other films, is that the, the violence in this film is authentic, but it's from character. You know, she is driven, and the violence is an extension of that. She worked incredibly hard, you know, long before we were uh, having our breakfast, Scarlett would be beating the hell out of some poor guy in a warehouse in, in Wellington, um, and then doing weapons training. And, and one thing that I saw that really blew me, blew me away was that she can fire a, a full magazine of an automatic weapon without closing her eyes, which is virtually impossible. Um, so she was very uh, tactically trained because the Major is a tactical operative and she's one of the best in the world, that's what she's built for. And Scarlett undertook doing her stunts herself in order to lend that authenticity. Um, and as far as Ghost in the Shell being you know, unique, yes it's unique, Ghost in the Shell is unique, that's why we, we, we really wanted to, to honor the legacy of Ghost in the Shell and we are a very proud part of, of the future of Ghost in the Shell. We have just come from Tokyo where we showed the film and it was very well received. Um, Oshi was there, Kenji was there. It was, it was you know, great to be a part of that, that family of Ghost in the Shell. You know, they were very um, happy with what we've done and we were very happy to be a part of it. You know, Ghost in the Shell has been seen by many people, but many, many, many more don't, don't know it, aren't aware of it. And I think that with this incredible cast and, and, and with the, the visual um, depth of Ghost in the Shell, we can bring it to a much bigger audience. And through that, hopefully people will, will go back and look at the original. They'll find Oshi's work, they'll find Shiro, Shiro's work. And, and really, um, hopefully, manga and anime uh, will become more popular. Okay. Last question.